Hi everyone, welcome back. This video is about personal statement or a statement of purpose. Here I'm going to share some tips and guidelines to write this statement that can win you scholarship or admission in US universities. So if you are interested, just watch this video till end. So let's get started. Very first question is, what is personal statement or a statement of a purpose? Well, it is one of the most important document in your application package that has a power towards your selection or rejection. So you should spend a lot of time to write this uh, statement uh, in a really, really good way. Another thing, uh, it is your first uh, representation in front of scholarship committee or admission committee. So imagine there are thousands of applications so why they should select you, okay, and uh, why they should uh, call you for the interview. So it's only possible if uh, when they will uh, go through your personal statement, your statement should be written in a way that from very first line, it should grab the attention of a reader and then there will be a pretty much higher chances that they will call you for the next round that will be the interview and uh, maybe you will uh, then obviously perform well in the interview and go to the scholarship. Well, as a rule of thumb, uh, the personal statement should be on one page, okay? But in some cases, some universities and uh, scholarship awarding institutes, uh, they ask some specific requirements for the personal statement like uh, word count and uh, number of pages in that case you should have to follow the guidelines from the institute in which you are applying but as a general rule of thumb it should be on one page and what it should contain it should contain the information related to you your family background your educational achievements your professional culture and the educational opportunities to which you have been exposed and explain briefly the impact that they have on your life journey important you should not repeat the information uh, particularly the factual facts like uh, your marks your achievements that you already have mentioned in your resume okay well at this point you are wondering what about motivation letter or letter of motivation so if you are looking for the information to write motivation letter i already have two videos on that topic you can just go and check it out and i'm going to leave the link of those videos in the description of this video so you just go there and check it out so let's move to our next point well before start writing your personal statement you have to answer the big question why you so why you are the perfect candidate for this scholarship? Why the admission committee or the scholarship committee choose you over thousands of other applicants? What is unique in you? Okay, so you have to think about this question and you have to answer it. So it is one of the hardest question towards uh, uh, writing for the personal statement. So how you can answer that? So first you have to think about yourself, write it down, your specific characteristic, your personal journey, and then research the host university, host country, not only their labs and their research, but also their culture, their lo local population, their food, their music, I mean, their cultural aspects, and then try to relate your past journey uh, to the cultural aspects of the host country and try to convince in your personal statement that you are the best match for that okay so this is one of the way to convince uh, the scholarship committee that you are the uh, suitable guy for that particular scholarship okay so this is the first point second point is most of us are just simply right okay so we just uh, say for example i write my characteristic i am a passionate guy i i i have a leadership qualities and i have uh, xyz qualities okay but it is just showing but we are not uh, uh, telling this story so 
you don't just have to show your characteristic but you have to explain those characteristics via example for example if you say i have a leadership quality but you have to have a give some example that support your statement that you have the leadership uh, quality for example you can say uh, i lead uh, my final year project in which uh, uh, 12 students were involved and i take the lead and i resolve the conflicts so you have to have give examples from your past okay so this is another uh, important point after that uh, again this is your only space for the scholarship uh, uh, reviewers to get to know you uh, on a deeper level so try be authentic so there is no way to write a personal statement other than you so you have to spend time okay remember to stay true to your own voice as a writing technique you can uh, start your personal statement with an engaging hook this can be a vivid memory from your past that relates your passion towards your research but avoid uh, over generalized hook for example uh, cultural diversity is important in a globalized society so this statement is very general so avoid this kind of statement at the beginning of your uh, uh, personal statement stay on message be concise and remove any irrelevant details because you have only one page so don't repeat the uh, information that uh, the uh, reviewers can find from other parts of your application Highlight the most silent aspects of your uh, personal uh, identity. Ideally, uh, you should mention the aspects of your identity that relates back to your motivation for pursuing a Fulbright. For example, immigration experiences, cultural heritage, mul multiculturalism, or uh, uh, identities related to race, gender, sexual orientation, things like that okay uh, moreover uh, you should avoid listing your accomplishment that you have already mentioned in your cv specifically illustrate those life moments that have sparked uh, the personal transformation in you that challenged you to see things differently pushed you uh, to develop personally uh, emotionally intellectually okay so when you are writing your personal statement write it in a chronological theme so a strong personal statement is the one that charts your personal growth over time avoid stereotype and uh, over uh, sentimental language when you are writing uh, this statement so when you finish your first draft it is highly recommended to get the feedback so from where you can get feedback, you should send your uh, uh, personal statement to your colleagues, professors, or um, uh, your mentor, uh, or supervisor, or maybe some consultant from the writing center. And uh, keep in mind, uh, some people will give you conflicting uh, advices, so it's up to you uh, what you want to take it and what you don't want to uh, put in your uh, final draft so it's actually uh, a time taking uh, process so be patient for high stake application essays like fulbright you can expect to work through around uh, 10 to 12 drafts uh, before your statements are ready to submit I hope you like today's video and I'm sure some of you get the idea how you can write a perfect personal statement. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Until next video, take care. Bye bye.